Hi, my name is Javon Weathers from the Deep Learning Team. Today we're walking through TensorFlow.js tutorials to show you how to get up and running with TensorFlow.js, looking through their tutorials, looking through the documentation, and making sure you can run everything all the way through so your organization can implement deep learning and artificial intelligence in a really quick manner. First things first, we're gonna to go to the TensorFlow.js website. You'll see here, announcing TensorFlow.js, library. You're going to click on this link. Once we're there, the goal is to go to the tutorials and guides. So TensorFlow.js is a library for training and deploying ML models in the browser on Node.js. It's really popular, it's very secure, and your organization will really enjoy it as your developers get up to speed using TensorFlow.js. So let's click on tutorials and guides. The first one we're going to do is the Training first steps, fitting the curve to synthetic data. I'm going to show you how to deploy this on the AWS Cloud9 instance, get up and running, and then actually look through the code to understand how to implement it in your organization. So this tutorial will do, it'll demonstrate a small toy model completely from scratch using TensorFlow.js. We'll fit a curve with some synthetic data, and then we'll generate it using a polynomial function. So let's click here. The whole goal is to actually be able to run the code, be able to play with the code to see how it works and how we can change the outcomes when we run our code. Some of the requirements, Node.js, uh, 8.9 or higher, Yarn, or NPM CLI. And also, we'll pull down this GitHub repo on our AWS Cloud9 instance. Now, let's log into our AWS account. So now I'm in AWS, I'm gonna sign into my console. Type in Cloud9, I'm gonna create a brand new environment. The name of my environment is going to be Cloud9 TensorFlow Demo, TensorFlow JS Demo. Next steps. You can choose a T2 micro, T2 small. Me personally, I'm gonna choose a T2 medium for this demo because we do have to pull down the repo from GitHub. So while our Cloud9 instance is deploying, let's go back to tensorflow.js and look at some of the things we need to do. Right here, this is the GitHub repo. We're gonna click there and Let's take a look at what we're gonna do. So they do have a live example. You can go take a look at that. But we're actually deploying it on our actual EC2 instance. We could do this on a standard EC2 instance, or you can do it on a local host. I personally like to demonstrate how to do it on a live production server. So for TensorFlow JS examples, this is where we're going to clone the repo. There's a lot of projects, and I'm gonna run through probably five of these projects to show you how they work because there's different tweaks to all of them if you did get stuck trying to run this initially. So Google recommends you CDN, do CD into your directory, run yarn, run yarn wash, but there's a couple other details that are left out of the documentation that I just wanna clarify. So now we'll go back to our Cloud9 instance that's still coming. Right now, what we're going to do is just make sure we have our repo clone because that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay. Should be coming up any second now. We're doing a mini series. We're going to do the polynomial regression core. I'm going to do the MNES data, the mobile net, and the iris data set for you. And that'll give you an overall good understanding of how to work with TensorFlow.js. Okay, our ID is ready. I'm gonna pull this over just a little bit. As you can see, this is a clean Cloud9 instance. There's no files there. I'll close this out. Right now, I'm going to do a git clone. The repo, pull it down. Now you can see the tf.examples here on the side, our polynomial regression core. That's the one we're gonna be working with in this particular demonstration. And we'll, here's the index.js file. You can see that here. 
The title is, you'll see the TensorFlow JS Feeding the Curve to Synthetic Data. You'll see that as we get started. Now let's start preparing our instance. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the security groups on the Cloud9 instance and open up the IP so you can actually see, so we can actually see port 8080. Click go to the dashboard. Once we get to the dashboard, we're going to go to EC2. Click on EC2. We're going to go down to the security groups. Now, in, in Prod, what we would do is specify our subnet or particular IP addresses that we can connect to. to I want to show you how to do it for this demo. Click on security groups. Go to your inbound security groups. Click edit, add a rule. I'm going to do custom TCP rule, port 8080. I'm going to allow all. I'm going to blow away this instance as soon as this tutorial is over. Now what we're going to do is save this. Click save. That's done. Let's go back to Cloud9. So the first things first we're going to do we're going to pull down a GitHub user content for MVM. We're going to go to the, we're going to CD. First thing we're going to do is CD into Polynomial Core. One CD in the TensorFlow.js examples. We're going to run this command. This is a curl command to pull down a GitHub user content for MVM packages and all the commands I'm going to actually leave in the comments below so you'll have those. It doesn't seem to work without it for that I found so you definitely need that. Next we're going to specify our path. This is the MVM path to the MVM.sh file. Now we're going to install Node.js. So TensorFlow.js requires Node.js 8.9 or higher. The Google Cloud 9 instance, the AWS Cloud 9 instance comes with Node-V to check our version 6.14.4, but we need version 8.9 or higher. What we're going to run is NVM install install 10.9.0 so we're installing that package and it'll say okay node is running 10.9.0 next we're going to install npm install dash g for global for yarn npm Dash G yarn. So now we're installing yarn. Now what we're going to do is CD to polynomial regression dash core. We're going to run npm install. So we're running npm install in this directory. If everything works as it should, you should get a package.json lock file in here. So all the npm modules are being installed. Okay, great. So now you'll see your package.lock.json. Now what we'll try to do, we'll run the npm, so here's Google's commands. So they say cd into your directory, run npm install, run npm run watch. We'll run P npm run watch dash p to specify the port 8080. Okay. 
So it says one, two, three, four. Let's see. So it's not going to run on port one, two, three, four. So when I have issues, I'll run yarn. So yarn will run. Yarn for me is more successful than NPM. And then I'll run yarn watch dash P 8080. Now, okay. So what'll happen is it'll give you an error. Say it'll say command failed exit code one. And if you come up a little further, you'll see this area where it says no space left on device. So what I do is I found this command to clear my cache out. Okay. Once I clear my cache out, I can run the command. So, so this is to clear my cache. I'll run this and then I'll run the yarn watch again and it'll run all the way through this time. Okay, so now you'll see it building the Node.js. You'll see all this building and then when we go back to our and we refresh and put it on port 8080, it'll start to run all the way through. And you'll see it building here. It's still building. So when you see it building, that means this is going to come up. So not secure, you'll see the fitting curve to synthetic data and voila, we got it up. It takes a while. Um, it takes a while to get up and running. There's a few commands that may need to be added to the documentation. This is just the way that I found to get it running. And then once you get one of them running, you can then run all the tutorials. My name is Javon from the Deep Learning Team. I'm really glad that you're going to be able to get up and running with TensorFlow.js. It's a great program. If you need any assistance, give us a call. We can help you implement artificial intelligence and deep learning into your business applications to assist you on your journey to AI. I'm Javon. Thanks for watching.